what is up everyone this is somnath gowder from future coders in this video tutorial we are going to be building this responsive feature section using html and css and also in the previous video we have built responsive pricing section if you haven't watched that video please make sure you watch that video also they are going to help you improve your html and css skills and also you are going to learn how to make your website responsive so similarly in this video we are going to be building this feature section and in this video we are going to add observe guys this cool hover effect as you can see when i hover on it the this border is going to appear and this icon is going to zoom as you can see over here and guys this is going to be completely responsive let me show you so this is how it's going to look in the last screens if i reduce the screen size as you can see it's guys guys it's completely responsive this is what you are going to learn in this video if you if you like uh, these kinds of video where i teach you where i build these small sections and make them and teach you how to make them responsive hit the hit the like button and let me know in the comment section and i will try to bring these kinds of videos more so guys this is going to help you improve your html and css skills and also you are going to learn how to make these these kinds of websites responsive responsiveness is the very important thing in a website you are going to learn or i am going to teach you step by step guys so guys this is what we are going to be building in this video so before we start building this please make sure you subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to leave a like on this video so let's start building this <laughs> So inside our index.html, I have already generated the boilerplate of our HTML, and also I have linked the local CSS file. Okay, now let's start building this. Inside the body, we are going to have a section with a class name of features section. Inside this features section, as usual, we are going to have a top section. Okay, here features underscore top inside this h1 tag with our amazing features, and for uh, after that, we are going to have a paragraph tag which is going to say communicate with flexible. tools that go where your business goes that's it for the paragraph tag now right after that the top section we are going to have a features container this features container is going to contain those feature single individual feature item so let's define the single feature item here i will make a div with class name of feature sorry it's going to be on singular singular feature item okay okay inside this feature item we are going to have a icon the first icon is going to be the gem icon right so i'm going to import that from the font awesome let's head over to cdngs dot com search for font awesome this one copy this link tag close this and paste the link tag over here now we have access to all of those font awesome icons here inside the feature item let's define an i tag with the class name of far fa hyphen gem so this is going to bring the gem icon this is the class provided by the font awesome which i should use to get this icon that's it okay right after this icon we are going to provide some information about the feature now here it's going to say feature item 
info okay sorry feature item underscore underscore info h3 premium features and right after that we are going to have a p tag with uh, lorem of 19 words okay okay here lorem of 19 words there we have it okay um that's it for the feature item like this in the final version we saw that we had four of these right so let's copy these four more times okay the second one is going to have a different icon that's going to be the medal icon and it's also going to change uh, it's going to be <coughs> awarded features okay let's copy this third time and for the third one the icon is going to be umbrella icon i think yes umbrella and for some reasons okay that should not be far it should be fas okay there we have it i think this also should be fas okay there we have it okay uh, it's not going to be the awarded it's going to be user friendly user friendly okay uh, also awarded fees not awarded features it's going to be awarded team okay that's it let's copy this last time and finally the last one is going to be fas fa comments okay there we have comments and uh, s3 it's going to say 24 by 7 support okay that's it for the html now it's time for guys css so guys this is how it's going to look in the only in html css plays the most important role guys so observe the css and for the css i'm gonna be using a custom font from the google fonts let's head over to google fonts sorry not google.com google fonts I think fonts.google.com okay and for over here I'm gonna search for the font called as poppins okay this one let's import um like 300 I think I'm gonna import everything 400 500 600 700 <laughs> uh, even if I don't use I'm still gonna import if uh, okay I may I may use this okay okay there we have let's close scroll up okay there we have it let's head over to import let's copy this import code and paste it over here okay, let's close okay now it's time for our cleanup process let's target everything margin zero padding zero box sizing to border box and let's also set the font family which we already imported that's going to be poppins and the fallback font of sans serif that's it and i'm also going to add some transition all 0.2 seconds is so if i add some any animations or any hover effect it's going to happen very smoothly it's going to take 0.2 seconds okay now for the background let's make sure that so the body let's make sure that background color is white it's going to be white let's still set it as white okay now um, i'm gonna target this features section the whole main container and for that the width is going to be 100 percent and i am all only going to use the 1200 pixels of the whole width and let's set the margin to 0 and auto to make the whole container align center and let's add some padding 
six rem to the top and bottom and one rem to the left and right okay there we have it now let's target this top section i think that should be this feature stop let's target that and only thing i want is text align to center okay there we have it let's target the h1 that is inside the feature stop h1 for that i am going to add some margin to the bottom of one rem and i am going to change the color to 071e55 this bluish color and slight letter spacing of 1rem 0.01rem okay now it's time to target the paragraph which is inside the feature stop paragraph font size of 1.1 rem color is going to be gray that's 7c8595 and let's add some font weight of 100 to make it very thin okay there we have it now it's time to target these each and individual feature item this one this feature item okay for that i'm gonna set the display of flex and let's add some background color of f e f e f e and add some border one pixel solid little bit grayish e b e b okay this one okay, there we have our uh, border and some border radius of one rem and finally a width of 45 percent okay and i also need to add some margin to the top let's add that margin to the top to rem okay that's looking nice okay now let's target the features container the whole container which is containing all of these feature items item for those i'm going to set the display of flex to make them uh, come in a row okay in a row margin to the top of 2 rem justify content to the center and uh, let's add some gap of 2 rem so that it leaves some space between those and flex wrap of wrap okay there we have it now let's target these icon which is present inside feature item and this i tag i can do that feature item and this i tag font size 3 rem to make it big that big padding to the top 2.5 rem mm, let's also add a padding to the left of let's say 1.5 rem and color of gray this one okay that's it for that and uh, let's target this feature info feature item info actually these to show visually this one this container feature item info only thing i want to add is padding of 1.5 rem all around okay there we have it it's not looking okay uh, that's because i have reduced the browser size as you can see over here this is how it's going to look in the last screens okay now let's target the h3 this one which is inside the feature item info h3 let's target that I'm going to change the color to the same color which uh, was added on the top section this one and a slight letter spacing of 0.01 rem and 
a slight margin bottom of 0.3 rem that's it now it's time to target the paragraph which is inside the feature item info let's add the color of this one gray and slide letter spacing of 0.01 rem that's it and finally the font weight of 100 so that it okay this thin okay and um, it's time to add those hover effects guys okay when i hover on this feature item okay let's copy the um okay feature item when i hover on it i want a border to the bottom of one pixel solid the color is going to be 1089 d4 let's see as you can see when i hover on it the the border bottom is appearing and also i want the icon to scale up right which is inside the feature item when the feature item is hovered and for the i i want to set the transform scale of 1.05 it's going to scale 0 i think 5 percent or i don't know 0 5 0 5 percent okay 5 percent it's gonna scale to okay 0 0.05 percent okay there we have it our effect okay that's it for uh, the whole build uh, the only thing now left is making it responsive let's see okay this is how it's gonna look there we have our hover effect now let's right click and hit on inspect make the screen size smaller as you can see it's not responsive i need to work on making it responsive now to make it responsive guys let's bring this over here so that you can see both of these and i'm gonna add a media query when the max width is 768 pixels this is going to ap apply these effects are going to apply when the screen size is less than 768 pixels and for that by default i have set the features container as display of flex right and by default it's going to make them in a row but i will say flex direction to column there we have it now it, they are appearing in a column but the width is the uh, and also i have set some width right to this okay feature item width i have set the width as 45 percent i need to make that 100 percent when the screen size is less than 768 pixels that's it width to 100 percent okay done sorry for this okay now let's okay there we have it when the screen size is less than 768 pixels it's gonna make them appear in the column and it's going to be responsive it's gonna still look in all of the screen sizes let's make it big okay this is how it's gonna look in the last screens okay guys that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this video uh, these uh, videos are are I are make, uh, I'm making these videos to help you improve your HTML and CSS skills and also to teach you how to make responsive. Okay, responsiveness is the most important thing guys. You need to learn. So I, I am trying to simplify uh, making responsiveness. Okay. So if you want more videos like these, uh, please make sure you hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's it for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.